Oh, great. So yesterday I introduced us to design, design principles, and we talk more about, we talk about how oh, the light on my face is too much. I'm not this white. Um, that is what I can do. So, are you guys managing just like that? Uh, Okay, I have seen my screen. She has said anybody that is making noise, she just meets them. Someone is trying to block my hair here. Yeah. You are not meeting them. Don't worry. Okay, can I see my screen? Joyce, are you new to the class? Our yes is not yes. So our yes is FFF. So please don't make that mistake. Thank you. So yeah, so yesterday I told us about I introduced us to design and all. So today, for the purpose of people joining again, um I'm going to I'm going to um, take that again and again, and um, hopefully we get it and we have a line. Who is this? Osa Saze. Saze? That's yeah, wrong. That is not what we said you should use. Um, let me see the timestamp. Share posted. And um, Nine to ten, nine fifteen to ten thirty is the first session. First break is okay. First break is thirty minutes. So let's our second session start from eleven to eleven to twelve. So let our second session start from eleven to twelve. From 12 to 12.30 is our second, no, 11 to 11, 11 to 12.30. From 12.30 to one is our break. And from one to two, we have assignment review and set of knowledge or, or something practical. But again, again, um, let me repeat what I said again. Let's from 11 to 12.30 be our second session. And um, 11 to 12.30 to 1 is our second break. And um, okay. 1 to I one to 2 okay. should be for assignment, assignment review. And um, right. Odyssey. So I want you to create a Excel sheet. Because okay. you are going to put all the record, I mean, I'm going to be calling marks and all. So you are going to record all those marks for the class. So um, again, if you, are, if you feel that you are, you are very overwhelmed with all these things, let me know. I can okay. use the workload. Or if you're not getting it in the class, let me know. I can try and, I mean, I think the videos will be very explanatory enough for you to for you to get something. So, yeah. Um, read one. Can you meet your mic? You want to say something? Read one. Okay. Is this Can you hear me, please? I can hear you read one. 
What is this on okay. there? Yeah, please. I don't know if it's from your hand or from some other participants. Uh, participants. Yeah, so it's kind of noisy at the background. Uh, like, I don't know if you are by the side of the road. So it's not. I'm not by the side of the road. It's on me. Hold on. So please, Let's can you. I don't know if there's a kind guy. of on Zoom so that you can mute others while the training starts. So that I think that's the the best part of it, so that we can all enjoy the class. It should be perfectly silent, not one traffic shouting up and down. I think that's what I, that's my suggestion. Just say that he just came to that bus. That's what you want to say. I just think we should only hear your voice when you talk because I can I don't know if I'm the only one maybe some other people can talk or something so that I can be sure if it's from me alone I'm hearing noise traffic noise at the background so it's not making it um sound fine so I'm not here being over big <laughs> thanks Okay. Um, is there any way better now? Is there any way better now? Nobody saying anything. Else. Okay. So, <laughs> the red one, you just came to your boss, which is fine. Who is this Chinyere? Chinyere. Um, I was only out of the class. Uh, good. Okay. So, um, um, what do we do now? Uh, I'll try and see to that. I'll try and make my background as noisy as it can be. I'm currently working from a workspace and um, they have a coffee shop. So, the coffee shop sometimes when they use the machine at the moment. <laughs> I know the kitchen. <laughs> when um, they use the machine and just makes some noise. But the noise is not what you should complain about, actually. Do you get You can't hear. Uh, you can't hear, what's it called? Um, you can't have a perfect silence. I don't know if that is the best way to say that. You can't get a perfect silence. And, uh, but my voice is over, what's it called? My voice is, I don't know how to say that. My voice, you can hear my voice, except you just want to be lazy. I don't know, you can hear my voice. And, um, um, design up, you want to say something? Design up, is it sign up? Yeah. Then I'm playing with your mic. Design of Kanye meet your mic. And don't forget that some of these are let's talk to you. They're funny. Uh -huh. So I will not say more than that. Design of can you meet your mic? Or are you not here? Yeah. I'll call you to mute now. Give me like that a minute.
Okay, so sign up. You said you're not talking again, are we? Thank you. Um, so I think it's better now. So let's proceed, please. Who is that again? Don't be me, Gabby. I don't get me. I don't have a baby. Please, let's help each other about this noise thing. I also don't like noise, but trust me, that's possible to make everybody hear me. Okay, so get to, let's get into it. Um, yesterday I introduced us to design, and I told us that everything that we see, everything, everything you see, is being designed. Everything you see, from from. Everything you see is being designed from your car to your um, spoon, to your glasses, to your shirt, to the interior design, to the book cover, to, I mean, everything. Everything you see is being designed. And um, one of the major thing, I mean, and design has different aspects. We have industrial design, architectural design, Automobile, automobile design, we have all form of design. But in this class, what you'll be considering is graphic design. And um, yeah, so our international class has started. Um, um, Olani Waju Salami, if I'm right, can you meet my please? Uh, good morning. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? What does design mean to you? Like, what does design mean to you? What, um, what does design mean to you? And uh, what does craft design mean to you? Okay, uh, just as uh, just as very simple, design simply means everything. Basically, from everything we've been used, put our electronics, clothing, everything has been designed. That's the initial design has been manufactured. Nah, 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 nah. From the cars nah. to our applications, to all visiting of life has been designed as a design phase. Yeah. No, no, that's not. That's all. That's all. Is it inception process oh. where you come together to really bring me in the ideas of what the end product will look like? Okay. Yeah. I think you're right. Can I see that it's on me? Or... <laughs> I think you're right. You can meet your mic but and pick your phone. Um, joyous. Joyous, can you meet your mic, please? Joyous. Okay. This offline, offline, can you meet your mic, please? Because I asked you to meet your mic yesterday, offline. You know, meet your mic, but today, can you meet your mic, please? Offline. Hello, offline. Can you hear me? Hello, good morning. Please, can you speak up, please? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. What's your name? What? I can hear you. Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, what's your name? Oluwatosin. Oluwatosin. Hmm? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so what does design mean to you? What does graphic design mean to you? What does graphic design mean to you? With all those things you've been saying on what you got, social media, what does it mean to you? Well, I mean, yeah, you hear me? I can hear you. So, who is this Antonia? I will send out of the class. So. <laughs> Hold on, guys. See, if I ask you to meet your mic and you're not meeting your mic, 
I will ask you to, I mean, you are not being conscious of mic. I'll just log you out of the class. And before you get in, it should take time because you have to log in on another device. So if I say you meet your mic, please try as much as possible to meet your mic so that we can all have a good transition while we are talking to one another. But if you are not meeting your mic, um, we fight. So I'm meeting um, on the right side. Ah. Okay, you can hear me very well. I can hear you very well. Um, to me, I think um, graphic design simply is creating vis visual content, part message. Hello? Is that this aircraft design is creating visual message. Visual content to pass it. It's creating picture content. To pass a message. To pass a message. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Um, who is favor? Favor our. I'm sorry, I'm sorry with names. Favor, you're, you have a DP, you're wearing black, or what color are you wearing? I mean, you are posting for us. Can you hear me, Favor? Yes, I can. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Favor, what is your name? My name is Favor. Hey, Favor you just said Favor. You have... What is it? You just said Favor. What's your name? Okay, my name is Favor Awalite. Oh, Awalite. Yes. Hmm. I favor quality. So what does graphic design mean to you? Okay, to me, um, graphic design is simply like maybe patterns, color, pictures, design. Um, hmm. Patterns, color, picture that shall portray or send out a message to the audience. Hmm, that makes sense. That makes sense. I think we have more female in this class than me. We should not be so. Um, I'm a female than me in this class. We should not be so. Um, um, so are you saying that female are more serious? Than I'm not saying that though. I just leave you guys for you to think about that. Um, Aisha, can you meet somebody? Aisha, can you meet the mic, please? Okay, so from what everyone has said, um, graphic design is um, visual representation of um, information or the way you represent data to convey something. I mean, the way you arrange your text, you arrange your colors, you arrange your typography, you arrange your patterns, you arrange all your visual elements to um, communicate something. And, um, and to have a good design, you have to follow some design principles. And in order to have a great design as well, you have to follow some design principles and following the design principles you have to understand the principle first before you follow them sure you get you have to understand the principle first before you can follow them and then um, i'll take i'll take my time here to explain that to us so as a as, as a designer you have different career paths to follow as a designer and um, you can start to be a graphic designer you can start to be so you can start to be a graphic designer working in different sphere or in different places how do i mean so you know we have editorial designers and those ones they are working all those guys i used to work in newspaper <laughs> 
after this guy, I used to work in newspaper. <laughs> they are working no for more. I think they are the one of the most underpaid designers. Um, I'm not sure, right? You can correct me. You can set to be an editorial designer. You can set to be a creative designer. You can set to be a graphic designer. You can set to be um, a graphic designer. You can you can set to be a UI designer. You can set to be a product designer. You can set to be a you can see my screen. Okay, let me share my screen again. I feel like how the light is bouncing on my face. It's not bringing out the beauty of my face. Okay, yeah. Okay. So back to what I was saying. I was just trying to explain the different type of designers for you. And um, in this during course of this training, I'll teach you things like practical experiences, what I've, I mean, how to deal with clients, clients' briefs, and all these things, and what I've really experienced in my life. What some years of being a designer, and uh, I mean, just tips to make you a designer. So, yeah, but graphic design is foundation of all this design. Now, let me tell you how I got into design, and I'm telling you this so that it will really inspire you to want to do something. And I want you to know that um, you you can do anything. You can call it uh, you can call it aspire to acquire. But please, can you guys see my screen now? Shay, you can you see my screen? Yes. I mean, I can see my screen now because I'm using another device to connect. I can see my screen now. You guys can reconnect. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, let me tell you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let me tell you my story, how I became a designer. And um, I'm, I'm saying this story to, I'm saying this to inspire someone, right? And either you are, you are feeling like, or oh, either you are feeling like you are a, I still learn or you should think that. Hey, Jesus, do you want me to shout? Is that my voice is not loud? Do you want me to shout? I think you should increase your volume because I can't I can't attend to every feedback. Okay. So um well I think you should just my voice is loud though. I'm even shouting where I am, and I should not be shouting. Thank you. So, um, is that increase of system volume or your phone volume or user headset? Okay. So, yeah. How did I get into design? So, um, in 20, I've always been interested in computer, right? I've always been interested in how computer works and all these things. And um, so there was one time like that, Blackberry was raining. And um, it happens to be like early 2010, 2011, 2012. And um, before then, I've always been interested in computer. I've always been interested. Again, I'm telling you all this story. Shall I, I'm shall I, you know, this thing just to like give you some life and light in you and for you to know that ah, um, I can also do this. Sometimes, to be honest with you, design is boring, right? And um, it feels so overwhelming. But your passion is just the most essential thing you need, and um, essential thing you need to become a designer. And because literally, uh, you will be sitting in front of computer all your life. Literally, you say you want to be a designer, you will be sitting in front of computer all your life. The average hour I spend in front of screen every day, average hour is 10 hours. That days I will spend 18 hours, 12 hours, 16 hours, even sometimes 20 hours, depending on the deadline I have, the workload I have, and all these things. So I'm preparing your mind, right? But, <laughs> but there is money in design, right? So um, in 2010, Black Benny was raining and everything was just raining up and down. And it sounds so exciting. I mean, 
a new please hopefully you can all hear me and you can hear me well yeah so it sounds like a new um wave of tech and everybody is using blackberry for one of two of three blah 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 and there is this i know most of you i mean most of us are born at that moment <laughs> but most of us experience the blackberry um technology thing so there is this thing on blackberry called pixmix pixmix is a place to be able to create like picture collages um fit james can you meet your mic fit james can you hear me yes sir, i can hear you i like the fact that your dp is black and white i'm not really seeing your face but it's fine i like I like black and white do you know blackberry yes do you ever use one no no yeah 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 gen z are you gen z no a millennial <laughs> no sir gen z don't worry for you not to use blackberry and gen z okay i just call it to, to ask that so there's this feature yeah i also use i use both so i use cov 10 and all these ways to use up on them yeah so then there's this feature called um pixmix and i really love that pixmix because it allows you to have different moments in one picture like on this upload and um and then as i did i was using nokia c1 if you, if you guys know nokia c1 it's a java phone you cannot run it cannot run um what is it called you cannot run blackberries at blackberry application so in my in my quest for oh i want to be able to run i want to be able to do pixmix and i went to a software store to go and buy so I Googled it. They said that um, what the other software that can do it is Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. So I now went to a software store to go and buy Adobe Photoshop. And Adobe, Adobe Photoshop is, I mean, Adobe Photoshop 7.0 is like one of the first earliest software of Adobe Photoshop. So I bought the Photoshop software and um, my sister has it. My sister has a computer there. And um, I installed it on my sister's computer. That was, that was 2012. I installed it on my sister's computer. And um, Jim, that was it. And I was able to achieve it on Photoshop. But I had to watch. Then, these tutorials are not common there. So you have to go to the software disk shop to go and buy video tutorials. Linda.com. These are the people that, <laughs> that come on there. They teach you so they teach you um things online. So I will buy it, listen, watch. I'll spend most of my time watching those video tutorials. I'll save my money to go. Uh, I'm, I'm always looking to forward to Fridays to go and after school, I'll go and buy all these things. And um, that was how I started. And um at some point, I started learning web design, web development, but I realized that you need to be a good visual designer for it to be a good web designer. And um, that was how I started. So I was a self-taught designer, and um, over and over, the other thing that kept me was consistency. I would stay up over the night. Within the age of 16 to 20, Within the age of 16 to 21, I only sleep for like less than four hours, which is bad. And I don't advise anybody to do it. It's telling on my on my health now. I only sleep for less than four hours. Why? Right? Because I always watch it to, to uh, I always watch tutorials in the midnight to practice, to work. So I'm saying all these things to say that four weeks is not enough to be a good designer. But four weeks is enough to set you on the on the right track of you being a designer and of you being a good designer if you are serious. 
to be a good designer, you have to really love what you do. You have to have a good eye for details. You have to um, know how, how to convert data to visuals. So that was, I mean, that is my story. Um, my, so, I mean, I started my design career 24. So, I mean, I started professionally like 2014 because at that time I got, like I started doing like freelancing gigs. No, sorry, 2013. Because I know that I make my first like 18,000 or like 18,000 or 2013. I saw one banner like that. And I have to print and I make money. And I was so happy that, oh, so you can make money from this thing. And um, that was when I started. I said I got to remote jobs, like working for people. And um, I mean, you know, it's just so interesting. Imagine being in school and you're being the only one that are making money more than what their parents are giving them. <laughs> it's always so interesting. And um, yeah, so I now have to like put more time and dedicate more time to what I do, which sometimes costs me my health, my stuff. So I'm saying all this to say that they have to be committed. They have to be willing to risk it all, like pay the price. To be the best designer you look up to, any of the designers you look up to in the world, you have to be able to do the work. The growth you are looking for is in those little, little work that you avoid or those little work that you don't want to do. So yeah, I hope my story makes sense to anyone. Um, yeah. Does it make any sense to you? Um, Jola Yemi. Yes, it does. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so back to what I was saying. I said you can be any form of designer you want to be. But for the purpose of this class, um, you, yeah, being a designer requires a lot of skill sets from your digital, I mean, from your creative thinking mind to, because really, so design thinking is very key. You're not just pushing pixels on your screen, no. The work as a designer is not just to push pixels up and down. I mean, push, pushing pixels. I mean, the work as a designer is not just like, um, it's, not, it's not just like push pixels. The work as a designer is to be able to understand what the clients want, um, which critical thinking is involved, your decision, your decision making process to is involved the way you the way you think the way you see also matters as a designer because literally you are giving direction to how people will interact with something so even you as a designer you have let me use the word you have to have sense she gets even you as a designer you have to have sense and how do you have sense in seeking for knowledge and in seeking for what to do and how to do it. So um, let me proceed. Can you see my screen? Yeah. So and in being a designer, any type of designer you have, you have to understand design principles at all. So I'm going to take the principles all over again. And I'm going to start with, uh, one of the principles I'm going to start with is, is I, I think, think I, I write it here, yeah, but font, font, font is one of, I mean, font usage. Most of us know um, different type of fonts and font. Most of us know different type of font. Most of us use different type of fonts and. Um, Nice. So, yeah, I will use the right type of font. So, typography is the name that, I mean, typography is the name that was a font. 
encompasses everything. Typography shows that across everything. And we have different font categories. We have serif and sans serif. We have different font category. We have um, serif font. What are you saying? Uh, I'm coming. Let me check what this person is saying. This is element of design also the same as principle of design. Hmm. Element of designs are not the same as principle of design. Design principles and design elements are different. Am I the only one that cannot hear from this person? I think you are the only one that cannot hear me, Ozano. Element of design and principle of design are different. Design elements are those um, visual. Design elements are those visual elements that make up a design, right? Right? Why design principles are the guideline of using those design elements. Let me explain it again. Design elements are those. These elements are like shapes, um, color, typography, um, all these things, right? That really, really make up a design. Well, design principles are guideline on how this element should be used or this element should be placed. Do, do you all get me? Um, Idosa, have I answered your question? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so we have different um typography style. I'm going to take my time to explain to us one after the other because one, I mean, one of the major um visual elements. We'll be using is typography and you have to understand the usage of typography well you have to understand how typography is being used and um, yeah how you can use them in your in your design so typography typography is very essential and um when we, when we get to branding, I'll still talk more about typography. But before that, let me show you um, some couple of stuff here. Yeah. So in typography, we have different visual. We have, I mean, we have different font style. We have serif. We have sans serif. We have script fonts. We have slab serif, we have decorative front fonts. So I'm going to, I mean, I'm getting more practical now. And um, Shay, please note, the assignment for today is um, differences between serif fonts and sans serif fonts. Give me five differences between serif fonts and sans serif fonts. So you can write it later. I mean, you can write it out the time you day. So I'm going to take my time and explain all these fonts properties to you one after the other. So when you are told to use them, you will use it. <laughs> it's just Sherry file. <laughs> it is serif font and sans serif. Um, Yes, serif and sans serif. Let me write it out here. Serif and sans. And sans serif. Yeah. So in branding, all these visual, all these font as role to play in type of brand you are working for, when type of brand you are working for. I will give you some example. Let me show you what serif fonts looks like. 
and let me show you what stand serif fonts look like. Deadline is always the next day, like it's always before the class. Deadline on every assignment is always before the next class. If I'm giving you any extended deadline, I will let you know. So um, Google, Google has the largest free collection of fonts. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to share my screen and show you um, Google fonts. So in the, for, the, for the purpose of this class, if I ask you, even for the purpose of this class, even for your design project, if I ask you to check for fonts, right? Always come to fonts.google. You will see a lot. Let me post the URL on the page on the group now. I'm sorry, the chat box. So fonts.google, you always see um awesome font style to pick from. And um, let me show you what I'm trying to say. Okay, so can you hear me now? Apologies. So to start with, I'm going to show you um, what I'm starting with serif fonts category. Serif fonts category. What is or what are serif fonts categories? So um, I may not give you the, the English English de definition you want, but practically serif fonts are fonts that looks um, that they have extra slabs. And I mean slabs. So if you see this A that I'm overing on, let me show you something. Um, serif and sans serif fonts. I'll just show you um, their differences and um, what they have or what they are used for. Serif fonts are decorative in nature. So, um, sorry, I'm gonna have to be switching to screens so that we all can understand this one after the other. And um, bit by bit, one by one. Um, Yeah, so this is the serif font. This guy, this is serif, and this is sans serif. This is serif, and this is sans serif. So serif fonts have decorative slabs. Serif fonts and their usage, they use them for, you know, these are fashion brands like Vogue, like, um, I mean, all these fashion magazine and all, because they look luxurious, they look luxurious, they look classy, they look so, they look so ancient, they look, I mean, sweet, when they are used in the right brand, right? Why sans serif, they don't have slab. They look modern. Like most of these of your rights complaints, like Piggy Bears, Carry Wise, they communicate, um, more, um, I mean, they communicate newness, youthful, right? In using this font, right? In, in using this font, you have to be careful. What information are you working on? What what brand is this brand? What are they all about? You have to analyze the brand property and the font, the font property. That will really enable you to like, okay, 
am I using serif fonts for this company or am I using sans serif fonts for this company? I don't even understand, but I'm open to questions. So, um, yeah, let me show you here. So according to this, right, serif fonts, they are classy, traditional, and trustworthy. Like, like and sans serif fonts, they are modern, minimal, and um, clean, right? We also have different uh, other, um, what's it called, font property. We have slab serif. Slab serif are all these bold fonts you see. If you live in Lagos, right? If you live in Lagos, all those um, people, all those directional boards you see when you're driving, like Yanawuro, Oro Shoki, or Lucky Phase One at Nauti, those fonts, right? The fonts used for them are either slab slab serif or sans serif you don't use okay when i come to that when we get there we'll talk yeah the next type of font category we have is script fonts right script fonts most of you now when a time is coming up right most of you be sending cards to your loved ones and most of you that have more than two boyfriends or five boyfriends they won't think girlfriends so you be sending cards and all these things and in sending cards most of the fonts, <laughs> most of the fonts use, sorry. Most of the fonts, most of the fonts used for all this love, love thing is um, script fonts, right? Most of the things being used here are script fonts and script fonts are fonts that not necessarily, they're just for, they're decorative, they're unique, they are fonts that when you just see. So most of these wedding invitations that you guys see up and down, most of them are Jews. Now script fonts, <laughs> now script fonts you use for most of them. Most of what is being used for it is script fonts. Why? Because it communicates uniqueness, it communicates love, it communicates, yeah. And we have handwriting font as well. Handwriting fonts, they are artistic in nature. They are, they are informal, like they are playful, they are all these things. So I'm trying, I'm going to show you some font examples and, um, and we have decorative font as well. I'm going to show you some font examples and I'm going to ask you to um, differentiate. I'm going to test your knowledge. What, what, what type of fonts are they? What type of font is this? And yeah, before I proceed, um, Tosin, Oluwa Tosin, Kolade. Oluwa Tosin, Kolade, can you? Can you unmute your mic? Francis, good morning. Sorry, I'm in a noisy place. Um, that's fine. You can talk. Okay. Ask your question. Are you asking me a question? Yes, I typed that you were saying something that the company, the company has taste according to the type of font. Um, like, so there's a particular type of font assigned to company. Like, is there a rule saying, okay, if I want to do design for this brand, I have to use this type of font. If I want to do for fashion, I have to use this type of font. If I want to do for piggy vest, that is um, banks, microfinance banks, there's a particular type of font. Is that what you mean? Yes, you're right. There is okay. rules for font usage. For every brand, they have what we call brand guidelines. Like brand guidelines are those things that guides you in creating, in creating. Okay, let me explain. When we get to branding, I will explain this more. And more. Yeah, no problem. Thank every you. complaint, yeah, that's why. Just come into your mic. I will explain more things. So every complaint, they have the fonts they use from your MTN. I mean, if you see MTN, MTN is using a consistent font. 
for a long time. Samsung, they have their fonts. Every brand has their different fonts. And um, all these things have been, they, they choose their font based on number one, the property of the company or the property of the brand. There are different factors put in place in selecting font to use for brands and all. So when we get to that place, or when we get to um, that bridge, we are going to cross it. But before we get there, yeah, let me show you some. Um, yeah, back to Google Fonts. Please, before I proceed, if anybody have any question or do anybody, do you guys understand um, what I've been saying since? If you have questions, signify uh, our color, our code. If you don't have Okay, if you have question, signify if you have question, let's proceed. Yes. So serif font you said serif font and decorative in nature. I know, but it's not the same as ever. Yes, serif font are not decorative in nature. Let me show you examples of serif fonts. Um I'm coming. I'm going to open Google Fonts. Um I'm going to share my screen with you all. Um, Sorry, try to share my screen. Yeah, so This is serif font. You can see their distinctiveness. You can see, check the, check their A, check their B, check their F. They have all this coffee. Will this slide be made available? No, this slide will not be made available, but the recording is available for everybody to listen. Let me type something. Um, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> yes, no, okay. Yeah, so um, I was trying to explain something. We have different fonts, right? And we have different fonts under different fonts categories. So currently, all the fonts you are seeing here, they are under sans serif. They are under serif font category. And one of the things, one of their major properties, when you check their T, their T, their T looks the same. The width might be different. The height might be different. Um, the construction might be different, but they have similar features. You check their T, T, G, and home. They have the pattern they follow. Share you get. So when you check it, you have the pattern you follow. And um, let me show you um, sans serif. So can you see sans serif? Sans serif, if you check the T of sans serif, is there from the T of serif? 
then that alone speaks more about how to use the font and how the font can be really used. So this Google font is a place where you can go to go and download fonts of, to use for your projects, your computer, and um, yeah, what have you. So um, before I proceed, I do want to so grab good morning I don't is Miriam Miriam are you don't making noise is Miriam that's making a noise which is bad Rehab yes sir, I can hear you sir good morning yeah, but I think you said there is some nobody is signed this place. Yeah, good morning, Rayab. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, so um you're asking a question. Yeah, I'm asking the question. I need an answer, please. So what's the question? Say it out, let everybody here. The question is the set of design doesn't have to strictly follow hey, this. Please, please, the good please speak up, please. Yeah, so, <laughs> Someone's on, mic is on, so I, I don't know. What do you say? The noise is too much. I can hear so many noise in the background. So I was saying something. I said a design, a design doesn't have to be strict, have to strictly yeah, follow those rules to be good. I some, okay. absolute, some absolute mind blowing uh, ignore one or more of these principles of design in order to create an eye catching and effective work. So I want to know how true is this claim? Sorry, where do you see this? So it's, it's all online. So it online, a design doesn't yeah, have so, to be yeah, a design doesn't yeah. have to follow yeah. to be good. Yeah, so this is why you know the rules and you are breaking it. Share you get. Okay. Share you get. Because yeah. all these things I would call design rules and design principle. Yeah. All these things that all these things are that um what is this that we, we call design rules, design principles, all these things, they are rules being made by people. Share you get. And okay. um, before you break the rules, you have to understand the principles. Before you break um, any rules, normally, you have to understand their principles. So for me now, I've worked and do design principles over time. I understand design principles. There are some okay. things I would do to my design. I'd be like, oh, this looks great. You have to understand before you started driving, before you start to drive, like you have shock on your head. You have to understand. <laughs> <laughs> rules. You have to understand the rules of the of driving. You have to understand how to drive a car before you just start driving like um that drop or you have shock on your head. Does that make any sense to you? Yeah, right. that's the Yeah. Before you blend your rules, understand your rules. And make sure that you're blending, you're making sense. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you Thank so you. much. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you so much. Man. Does anybody have any question? Our break is in. 10 minutes. But before we go for a break, let me continue this. So back to our, the goats cannot finish the fish. The, the cow egg is not boiling well. Why? Uh, so the font I selected, the font category we are looking at, this is sans serif. Sans serifs are minimal, modern, clean, and uh, they are so good to use. Yeah. And um, yeah, I want to select the next font category, which is display font. So display fonts are majorly used for, 
they are used to make noise. That means they are used to make you pay attention to details. So let me give an example. Um, most of it are you live in places like Waterford, Lagos, Oweri, or any of the states that has big billboards. People will not park as as a designer or as people that are engaged with your design on billboard. You really see people park their car, right? And see and see what billboard is all about. I mean, and see what you are writing on the billboard or what the design on the billboard is all about or your pylon pole design, they will not. But what we call them is the type of font you use for that type of design. Imagine <clears throat> for billboard design. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so imagine for billboard design, you're using a decorative font or a script font. You will not pass the right information and you are wrong. To not solve the right problem solving. Why? Because of the type of font you are using. Sure you get. So font is very essential for B boards, for anything that is um, um print media. Um always try to use a clear claim font and a bold font. I think I've said enough on that. <clears throat> so you can now come and let's check handwriting fonts. Handwriting also are similar to script fonts. And um, these are the fonts that are not really formal and uh, that you can use for that you can use for anything. And um, yeah. So um the next thing. The next thing we have here is um, monospace fonts. So all these monospace fonts, you know, when you watch a movie and they're showing like Akin, Akin screen or Cyber screen, and um, they are pressing code. <laughs> yeah, these are the type of fonts page use. That kind of fonts. You know, this kind of fonts being used for those kind of things. Um, um, monospace fonts are technical fonts they are used for scripting, they are used for white paper documentation. You know, they are just just have that, that technical compatibility. Yeah. Um, again, do we all understand the fonts thing I explained to us? And do you understand the font using thing I explained to us? Do we all understand? Um, if you have any question, let me know. Um, and yeah, let's talk about it. Any question? Any question? Who is that person? Are you saying that you all understand what's are you saying that you all understand what I thought about? Um, I think Rosemary is asking a question. Yeah, you can create your own fonts. You can create your own fonts. Um, how can you create your own fonts? Literally, you can just go to Google and type, how can I create my own font? Honestly, but there are uh, fonts making Softwares you can create your own fonts, so you can create your own font and sell. But everything in design has a story, right? You can't just create fun, fonts for the fun of it, right? Everything in design has a story to it. Everything in design has a story to it. So you can't just say, "Oh, I want to create my own font," blah 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 blah. 
um, everything in design have their story to it. So even if you are creating a background, a visual element, and all these things, you have to have your story. So I'm talking about storytelling. Storytelling is very key and essential to your, um, what's it called? Storytelling is very key and essential to your growth as a designer. So, um, Rosemary, have I answered your question? Rosemary, I'll answer your question. Yes, you have. Thank you. Thank you. I, is it a bit or a bit? I don't know. A bit. You said you have a question. Can you? Can you unmute your mic? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah. How are you doing, sir? Sir, I did here. I just did. I said, how are you I doing? Just, I just, I, I said, I just did. I just did. Oh. I'm here. Please, I just want to say that. Can you just give us the summary of uh, which font we can use for a particular brand, like in terms of maybe for finance, like all these piggy vest, right vest, maybe which font is particular for all this, and maybe for financial, this one for fashion brand. Which are like shortcuts. The like shortcuts. Yeah. 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 Just give yeah. us the summary. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving any summary. Leave me alone. That's part of your work to do. Okay, so let me just say that. Um, for for fashion brand, it is advisable. So all these things, I mean, your audience determines all these things. Like okay. even for fashion brand, who are your audience? Who are you selling? So let me give an example. So if you are selling for children, I will not advise you to use a serif font because children want something that is modern, clean, playful, and something a bit serious. You guys know ASOS. ASOS is not using a sun, they, they, they're not using a serif font, they use a sun serif font. Your brand architecture literally determines the type of font to use. Do you get? Thank you, Shay. Your brand architecture, literally, determines the type of font you use or you should use. But at the same time, I'll give you a general overview. For fashion brand, serif fonts are the best to use. For any tech brand, because tech is innovative, blah, 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 all this English. For any tech brand, um, sans serif font. Or monospace. Monospace is really when they're thinking about and they like a technical things. But sans serif font are the best to use for any modern and innovative brand. Um, yeah. So, a bit. I've answered your question. My name is Abib. Abib. My name is not Abib. You wrote Abib. Abib now. H A B I B. Uh -huh. Uh, sorry, my Abib. Abib. Yeah. Uh, uh, Yusuf, can you meet your mic? Yusuf, can you meet your mic? Hey. Yes, sir. Yusuf, your network is denying you. Good morning, man. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Yusuf. Yeah. Yusuf, let, yes, sir, let me take I... your question when, you, when we come back from break. It's break time okay. already. Okay, sir. Thank Hi, you, sir. guys. It's break time already. And regardless of anyone I see by 11, like, I'm going to continue with the class. I'm not going to wait for anybody. Because I expect you all to come to class like two minutes before the break ends or five minutes before the break ends. Um, see you by 11 and um, we'll continue. Thank you. Yeah, the assignment, the attendance is coming. I will tell Motunrayo. I will tell Motunrayo to send the attendance. See you guys by. See you guys by 11.
Uh, I try as much as to explain the colors to us, the color, um, how color affects brands, and we'll see some examples. And uh, if I proceed, please, um, if you have a laptop, like if you have a laptop here, please just type out laptop because hopefully before Friday, we should start some practical class. So if you have a laptop, you are connected. I mean, if you have a laptop that is working, please type laptop. Shay, please, after they finish typing laptop, I want you to count how many persons have laptop. I'm saying this to say that um, I want you guys to get um, Photoshop installed and Illustrator installed as well. On your, on your laptop because those are the two major softwares we've been working with and uh, we're going to be making some great designs with it. So um, I'm using today, tomorrow, I'm using today and tomorrow um, to kind of explain some story to us. When we, I mean, by Thursday or yeah, once you guys get your software installed, by Thursday and Friday, we should start to practical every time. And um, <coughs> we should start practical. I mean, real time practical. So, yeah. Mm. So, also, um, okay, I think majority of us say how we have a laptop. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So the software we'll be installing is um, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. And um, these softwares, I mean, they have different version of softwares for them. So there are different graphic designs um, software, right? We have Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, we have Corel Draw, we have Canva, we have which I did, we have InDesign, we have numerous design softwares, but um, industry standard, right? Industry standard softwares, we have industry standard softwares, right? We have, um, we have Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Figma. Nobody really uses CorelDRAW as industry standard. Most people use CorelDRAW for print designs. Not, I mean, I've never worked in a company where they are using CorelDRAW. Nah. <laughs> They don't use color draw as, and also Canva is not a good design tool for you to learn design. Canva is a design tool that you just go and manipulate stuff up and down. It's not where you can actually learn how to become a great designer. It's very software you can actually use in becoming a great I mean, software designer. So um, most of using Canva is good, but it will not, um, it will not, what's it called? It's not enhance your, it's not enhance your um, skill set as a designer. So I don't really advise people to use Canva. It doesn't really make sense. So, beautiful. so, but I mean, if you are good with your designs, you are good with designs and all, and um, you want to use Canva to quickly do some things, great. But don't come and say a eh, eh, designer now because you're in the Canva. Nah, design is deeper than that, and design is more, design make more sense. I mean, the better design software to use than Canva. 
real design is actually in creating, like in creating originality, like in creating original things. It's not in manipulating what somebody has done. And also design is in that general originality of, oh, I made this, I made that. Okay. Um, thank you. Motorio, can you make me a co-host? Like, you see Francis at them. I make me a course. Yeah, so let's proceed. We are proceeding to um, so let's proceed to uh, color. And I think we take it on. We take uh, what was it called? We had some discussion about color yesterday, but um, I want to talk more about color and how color really affect brands and all. And um, um, Motoraya, are you here? Can you hear me? Motoraya, can you hear me? Motoraya, can you hear me? Can you, can you make me the co-host and at the same time please can you post the attendance thank you can you make me the co-host and can you post the attendance so that um other people can i mean feel the attendance on, um use the attendance okay so um can you see my screen can you make me the post because I can't share my screen without making me the post. So, um, Okay, thank you. Um, so in design, color usage is very, very essential. Can you see my screen now? Can you see my screen? I feel like the fact that everybody is just quiet, silent, and everyone is just, I don't know if anybody's hearing me, or anybody cannot see me, I don't know that. Um, can you hear me? Shay, can you unmute your mic? Hello, Francis. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, but your screen is my not screen. on yet. Not yet. It's still loading. Okay. Let me reshare again. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Yes. <laughs> we can go there. Okay. You have to see me now. You have to see me. You have to see my face. Nah. Okay, so back to what I was saying about color. Color is very essential and the use of color. So I'm taking my time to explain color forms. I know I'm doing that because those are the major elements. And I've said explain shapes and I've said explain some minor minor alignment, emphasis, arrangement, blah, 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 blah. Because color forms 
and some other design visual elements. Those are the major elements you will be. Uh, who is that person? Those are the major elements you will be working with as a designer. And um, you are pleased to be able to choose. And my face is on the show now. What's my face? You don't see how. <laughs> you don't see how. So these are the major. These are the major elements you will be using. These are the major elements you'll be working with as a designer. So you have to get it right, right? You have to get it right. Share, share you don't forget the assignment I talked about. And I think I'm about to do another assignment, but not yet. Let me explain the color first. And, um, I think this is cool. Yeah, so color is very key. Color is very key in your design. And um, I think I was explaining yesterday that all this color, people, all this color represents different things. And um, color represents, I mean, color says a whole lot about your personality, who you are, blah, 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 and all. And um, I think I was asking some persons yesterday that what is their favorite color and why did they like those favorite colors? And some persons, shake, can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, your screen is on. Okay, because somebody just said he cannot see my screen. Yeah, so color is very essential in um, in what you do and how you do. So I'm going to run the same exercise again. I'm doing this exercise and I'm making this class so interactive so that even after you cannot remember everything, I remember all oh, what your your friend says and all. And I want to ask, are you guys are making friends with each other already? Please do because. That's one of the ways you can really learn. So what we found is like, oh, meet and um, talk to and um, blah 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 blah. So um uh, you can't see my screen. Uh, if you cannot see my screen, just refresh. <laughs> just refresh uh, what's it called? Refresh your zoom or log in and come back again. Um, Aurelua, can you unmute your mic, please? Aurelua, can you unmute your mic? Yes, I have. Yeah, what's the red color? Well, I don't have the one. Where do you want to ask yesterday? What did you say? Do you... Were you, were you in class yesterday? Yes, I was. Do you speak yesterday? No, no, not at all. Okay, because that's the only lady I should have said. She doesn't have. Okay, well, so why did you have a red color? Well, no reason in particular. I just, I just wear anything that goes. I use any color that comes to mind. Hey, how are you people? Are you sure you are not a narcissist <laughs> or a psychopath? Which one? I'm not. You don't have, I you don't have the right color. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Abba, you are not part of. You are, you are, bye bye. Um, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Your surname is O K P A L A. Can you hear me to my please? Manuel, can you unmute your mic? Emmanuel. Okay, Emmanuel is not here. Messi. Ologunolua. Messi, can you unmute your mic, please? Messi, can you unmute your mic, please? Hi. Hi, Miss Yolo Gnolua. Am I right? Can you hear me? I can hear you, Miss. Hi. Um, What's the favorite color? Okay. Um, I actually do not have a favorite color. I think I just go with my. I don't have a color. What do you say now? 
I can hear you. Okay. Is it better? Your net, yeah, network is breaking. I can hear you. Sorry. It's better now. Don't worry. I can hear you. Don't worry. Let me call another person. Um, right. Chim Dima. <laughs> Have to be careful to call it again. Chim Dima. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Chin Dima. Can you hear me to my? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you as well. So what's your favorite color? I can see that you like some colors. I can see the color you like. <laughs> what's <laughs> your favorite, favorite color? color is blue. Yeah. You spoke yesterday. No, I didn't. Okay. Why why is blue your favorite color? Um, I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know, it's, I really can't say why, but I just really like the color of blue. I don't have any... Well, when, you, when, you, when you wear blue, how does it make you feel? It makes me feel confident and I feel it makes me stand out due to the color of the way it contrasts against the environment. It makes you feel confident. Hmm? I'm just asking you. Sorry? Does that even make you feel confident? Did you hear what I right. said? Yes, no. Okay. Is that blue make you feel confident? Yes. How? I mean, I'm just asking you. How? <laughs> I can't really no, see. Have to answer that. It just has that yeah, effect. That's right. Yeah. That's why I doubt to answer that. Um, let me call one more person and I proceed. I'm trying to get a guy, but there's a guy called Adibayo. Is he here today? He's not here. Really, most of the people in this class, they are female. I'm proud though. I'm proud that most of you are female. Who is Lord? Lord, can you meet your mic? Good morning. Uh, uh, Can you hear me? Uh, what's your own Lord? What's your own Lord? Mm. Lord, or what? <laughs> Lord, Lord, everything. Oh, Lord, origin. Uh, and uh, my name is Akim. So, why do you put your name as Lord? I forgot to change it, but I didn't bother either. Thank you. Um, because you're going to stress she when he's trying to put your name into the um assessments or attendance or all these oh. things. Yes, I'm so sorry about all that. of you. Please rename yourself to the right name you are bearing. I'll show you that one that is bearing offline. <laughs> rename yourself. So no, those of you right color. And then chess if Oh, you're talking to me? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. <laughs> How do you know I'm a Chelsea fan? Shall continue. All right. Lord, <laughs> oh, Lord Dryji. Sorry. It doesn't correlate anyway. <laughs> we are not a Chelsea fan, are we? I am. I am, actually. No, ma. I know. Well, I like, I like this. You like blue? Yes. Why do you like blue? Because of Chelsea? No, not, no, not because of Chelsea. I already love blue in school days. In secondary school days, in Tower Sports, I was in the Blue House. So I think I love blue since then. Not so how does blue make you feel when you see it and when you get it? Well, I just think, I don't think it has any special effect on me as such, but it's just, a, I think it's a passive, passive likeness. It's just what you, what you prefer. Okay, that's yeah. right. Um, but Lord, can you see my screen? Lord, can you see my screen? No, I can't see your screen. Why? I've been trying to, I've, I've made a comment that I can't see it for a while now. I've refreshed out. Okay, I'm coming, refreshed let me reshare it again. Okay. Let me reshare it again. 
Can you see my screen now? It's loading, but it has not shown yet. Oh, it's too short. Shay, can you see my screen? Shay, can you see my screen? No, it's still loading. I can't see it yet. Okay. Well, can you see it now, Shay? Not yet. What is wrong? You call me. Give me lights and let me switch my network. Maybe because your face is not showing. That is that. Can you guys hear me now? That's number one. Number two. Please, um, add me, make me a pause. So let me try to share my screen and let me see if you guys can see. Um, let's try a here, please. Which other Emmy is down? Ah, it's not this other Emmy. I'll come. Sure, please, can you check? I don't think you made the right or the email. The co-host. I don't understand why my net, my mobile is showing to you. I don't understand that. Um, yeah, Motorio, please. I'm with you. <laughs> Sorry guys, we're trying to fix all this things. No, all this technical error. Right? Oh, thank you. Can you guys see my screen now? And can you hear me? 
<laughs> ah, thank God. And um, I can see my face. So. Okay. Okay, so uh, back to where we are. Okay, oh. so back to where we are. So I was talking about color, and I was talking. I was talking about, and I, I mean, I, I tried to ask us different questions about what our favorite colors are and all these things. And I'm doing. I was. I, I tried to do this intentionally so that. Uh, we can all understand what color is. Um, there are some everything in the back of you. Thank you. So I was trying to make us understand what color is, and um, color is very essential. And um, for every brand, for every brand, every brand has their color right and um yesterday i was talking about color property about, so i'm trying to repeat myself over and over over and over every brand has their color does as regards branding and all these things and um let me give you an example for a food business most colors you see for food business is you see okay most colors you see for food business, you either see red, orange, um, yellow. These are the major colors you see ever brought. And uh, have you ever asked yourself that why, why are those colors? Why red, why blue, why orange, and other stones? Um, I want to have some of us that what let me ask, let me just continue. So color is essential. And different sector has different colors they are um, they are associated associated with. Like a green color now, they're associated with like an agricultural green color is being associated with agricultural um I mean uh, green and um orange or green and yellow they have association with agriculture blue has association with things that has to do with um, banking um, trust and all these color properties they have their, their influence what good color Esther can you miss your mic Esther, can you hear me so Esther, Esther, Esther. Can you speak up? Esther, can you hear me so Hey, let's talk to Jesus. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello, I can hear you. <laughs> I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. <sighs> I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you well. Who is this? Okay, you said what good color DP technology business? Okay, let me answer that. So, um, for technology business, eh, mm, all these things are kind of dicey. Again, I said that is when you um, what type of technology are you providing? For technology, you have blue. 
you could have purple self, you could have black and white, you could have yellow. You could have yellow depending on let me see my screen. Okay, you guys gonna see my screen again. Let me share my screen back. Um, sorry. Um, everything did not go off. It's only my screen that you not see. You stop saying everything you went off. Uh, where's my screen? <laughs> oh, good. So can you see my screen now? Thank you. I can see my screen. Um, everything did not go. Thank you. So um, stress is something. How about health education? Thank you. Read one. Read one. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want this thing to be drain us up and down. Um, yeah, I will show her some complaints now, and um, I'll show you some of their brand colors, and you see how color actually influences what they do and um, they have. When we get to logo, we'll talk about logo, but I'll show you brand colors at all. Um, and um, this promise to be an interesting session. So, um, Juliet, can you unmute your mic? Juliet, can you unmute your mic? She, can you unmute Juliet to unmute her mic? Julius, can you meet my kids? We're in transit. Thank you for saying that. So that's one of fact. It's quite noisy. All right. Um, we are always in transit there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we again. Can I call? It's like I know all this is going to be already. Now, if it starts for last day, can you meet somebody? Please, I'm sorry, I'm not gender anything, but you are a female on this. Yes, but I can't day. see your screen. I can't see your screen. Why can't you see my screen? I don't know. If you're a female, let me signify. If you're a male, let me signify. Because literally, I can't really tell names. Yeah. Okay, don't worry. Um, my shoe design of can you see my screen? Francis, I can see your screen. Ah, thank you. <laughs> okay. And also, um, I've actually yes. wanted to say something since I can unmute my mic without you telling me to unmute. I think that's like <laughs> I that's just don't see right? anything. Oh, I mean, so I think others say? can too. What do you want to say? Yeah, I just wanted to draw your attention to the fact that I can unmute my mic without you asking me to unmute. Yeah, yeah. And I like the fact that you guys are you guys have good head. You guys are cooperative. You guys are not just 
I'm meeting my Kenya. Thank you for that. So I want to ask you. Um, so we're talking about colors and all these things. And um, so yeah, you can see. <coughs> Here's an iPhone. <coughs> yeah. Okay, why are you rich people? <coughs> yes. So um, this is an Apple logo. What do you think? Why do you think they chose black? Being a technology company. Why did you think they chose black? Why do you think? Yeah. So luxury. Say. I think black represents luxury. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't tell me you don't know, right? There's no wrong or right answer. I mean there's no wrong yeah, answer. Yeah, I'm Just not saying I'm not free. saying I don't know. I said black represent luxury. So I feel they they um, use what black think because of that. That has to what do you think that has to do with the technology brand? Their ships are expensive. Their what? They are expensive. They are expensive. Um, what's it called? They want to be seen. They want to be seen as um, a brand that offers luxurious <coughs> products. You guys are using iPhone. How does that using iPhone make you feel? Make you feel? I'm not using pompous. iPhone, Francis. How do you think I'm using it? Why do you think I'm using iPhone? I'm not using iPhone. I'm using a Samsung. Using Samsung. Samsung what? S twenty nine. Oh, it's Galaxy Note 9. Ah, rich people. <laughs> I, I, I need somebody that is an iPhone here to talk. So, okay. So, um, I'm doing this exercise to just to let you understand how color works and um, how different brands apply. How color really affects your human psychology, right? If you see anybody that wear, even in our normal legal systems, right? You see somebody that wear black, 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 either they suit up or they wear pants, trousers, blah, blah, blah. The first thing that will come to your mind is, oh, this people look serious, or is that, are they security? Are they cause people, depending on the area and all. And over time, color make you, for me, I mean, I love, for me, I enjoy wearing black every time, right? Color make you feel so, color has to, how you are being represented and color hard to how people see okay so let me call another person uh, i'm thinking about it seems we have more than one extra so i appreciate it <laughs> uh, or more we have different names here yeah. um is it Linian? Linian, can you unmute your mic? Um, good morning, Francis. Yeah, good morning, Linian. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, I know you are good. Where are you connecting from? Uh, Ibado. Ah, ah. But on your real, where Ibado? Is it there or more for now? Um, oh. I like it at the like airport it? side, chap. Uh, did you feel nice to stay there? Did you feel stay there? Yeah, so this is Burger King. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. And why do you think they use red, yellow, and blue for their name? Okay, well, I think. I mean, there's um, no wrong answer. Okay, okay. Well, looking at it, um, sort of exciting. For me, yellow is sort of um, playful, free, and at the same time, it's just red is passionate. So I just feel like, well, it excites this. You just <laughs> can you hear me? I'm listening to you. Honestly, I'm listening to you. Yeah. Okay, so like, I feel like it's um create a sense of hunger and appetite. That's what I want to hear. You're right. You're right. You're Thank right. you. Um, yellow, red, orange. Yeah, those three colors. Don't joke with them. They create a sense of hunger a lot. And um, they create, um, I mean, again, all these colors, they have, they are, what's it called? 
they have their characteristics and they have what they are being used for. Yeah, so um, I think that is that about color. Um, when we proceed, you begin to learn more about color. And I think I will share you more resources on color, right? Um, I want to ask. I want to ask. Um, I want to ask. Um, so, does anybody have any question? Anybody have any question? If you don't have any question, can I proceed? Does anybody have any question? Um, Kabir, Kabir, can you see the I'm calling your name here? I don't want to call your name. Yeah. Hello. Hello, me too. You asked me a question. Yeah, what's the question, please? You said uh, the laptop is black, right? Why is it black? Why is it black? I'm not asking you that question. I just said, do you have any question? Um, for now, I don't have any question. So we can proceed, I think. Yes. Okay. I know what I said is now. So let me give any, let me say something else. Most of these complaints, they are what is called brand guidelines, right? And a, a, a brand guideline is a document that explains what a complaint, what all these complaint visual assets represent, and what all these their visual assets, what it means to them. So it's like a, a document that shows a color usage, their brand usage, their color usage, their typography usage, their photography styles and all. So you can literally go on Google now, right? And type what does happy on what does um the black in Apple Google mean? What does black color represent to Apple? It will literally give you a lot. It will give you the search results you are looking for. Yes. So, does that make any sense to you? Yes. Also, in addition, I want to add the black also signifies power. Honestly, yes, it does. It does signify power. Yes, I mean too. Um, there is this person that said, "What's your name? Your name is um, is this? That's the, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Can you omit your mic and pronounce your name for me? We want you to be doing tongue twisting. Can you speak up, please?" Dog use almost the same color as brother. Can you speak? I can't hear you if you're saying anything. Are you saying anything? I can't hear you if you are saying anything. I might be doing that. I know you are. Okay. I'm um, sorry. Um, not this out. You're saying something. <clears throat> are, are, you, are you trying to say anything? You said, uh, what does the color black mean? 
yeah, yeah. That look bad. And I said it's that it signifies excellent. quality and series. excellence. Yeah, yeah, right, you're right, you're right. There's no doubt about that. <coughs> yeah, right. Um yeah, right. So I want to proceed to I mean something different. And please, when can you guys install your softwares? I'm giving you from today and tomorrow. You get your softwares and install them. And um, tomorrow is Wednesday. Wow. By Thursday, I want us to start Pratica as soon as as soon as possible. I want us to start Pratica as soon as possible so that we start making mistake early and we can correct it earlier as well. Like so that everybody start start failing earlier as soon as we can fail. I will start correcting them because I don't want us to just have talk, 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 up and down. You learn by doing, and you learn all these things by actual seeing what you are doing. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I'm to talk about vector and rasterize files. I know it's English, but I'm talking about <laughs> things you really need. Um, Sorry, can you make me at me? Um, I need to share my screen. I can't be an admin. I need to share my screen. Oh, what's in my So um, I want to, so rasterized file and vector file. So most of us know all these things, but it's just English, and I will explain to you. So in in your physics, um, in your physics, there is something called scalar and vector quantity, and um, some of us know what scalar quantity means and what vector quantity means. Yeah, I've forgotten, but you guys should remember. The scalar quantity and vector quantity. So vector quantity, vector files are files that um, they are geometrically or they are, I mean, they can be calculated, I mean, they can be calculated they are mathematically in nature. And um, in design, you can stretch them with any length. While raster, raster files, they are made up of pixels. So when you take pictures on your phone, right? Or when you download any picture, and instead of it saying, oh, this thing is blurry, is you say this thing has pixelated. Pixelating is when everything you create, any every J, um, JPEG files, every um uh, what's it called? PNG files, every of those files, they have what's it called? They have their characteristics. They have what they are made up with. I want to show you what I'm trying to say. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yeah, so you can see vector file and raster file. Vector files are made with curve and um, raster files are made with pixels. So as you can see, let me zoom. Because this, these are the principles we'll be using for designs and well they may not really be called principles but these are one of the key things you use in design and there are softwares there are some softwares that their five formats is rasters and the softwares that you can produce vector on and you can produce raster on photoshop is basically for images um you can't really produce 
a vector file with Photoshop. But software is like um, Figma, Adobe Illustrator, Figma, Adobe Illustrator, CorelDRAW. Yes, those softwares are designed to produce vector format. And you can see the file extension for vector format. We have AI, PS, XVG, CDR, PDF, CGN, right? And we have Rastafa, T, blah, 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 blah. Yes. Do you understand what I, what I explained? Do you realize how I explained? Please, can we get our software installed before before um, class tomorrow, so we can just start practical right away? You do so. What, what do you understand? You do so. What don't you understand? You can download any version of software that you want to use. Only have correct draw. Don't you just like can you omit yourself? I'm coming to my post. Can you omit yourself? Can you talk? Yes. Good morning. I'm in the morning. Good afternoon. Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, what don't you understand? Vector and raster files. I don't. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't really understand. You said vector is curve. Maybe I didn't hear you well. Okay. Yeah, files hear me are maybe curve. And... Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Were you a science student or an artist? Commercial. Commercial. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me explain literally. You have pictures on your phone now? Yes. What phone do you use? Techno. Okay. When you take pictures on your phone and you zoom it, sometimes you realize that, oh, this thing is blurry, right? Yes. Yeah. Those images on your phone, they are made up with small, small boxes of pixels. I made, I made up with small, small box and small, small box of colors. And those small, small box are called pixels. You can read me about this later after the class. Those small, small box are called pixels. And those are the file. Those are the small, small box. You can see it here. See. You can see the small, small box here. Okay, okay. And, and those are the boxes. Right, let me find an image. Let me go to about splash. All right, let me find it an, an image. Mm, nice. By the way, I took most of this. I want to show you some pictures. I don't even know about this one pizza with sharp, but let me show. So you can see this. Can you, can you see this picture? Yes. You can see this picture. So if I zoom into this picture, I saw these boxes. Yes, yes. Yeah, so those are those are the things that make up. Let me, let me show you. Look at these boxes, right? Yes. Yeah. This is what made up your pictures. All these boxes, and they are pixels. Okay. Can you see? If you zoom them, you see different variation of colors, right? Yeah. Why? Because that is what file is made up with, right? So we talk about vector. 
Uh, <clears throat> let me show you. A shape is a vector. Let me try. See, this is a vector file. No matter how you zoom it, you can't see any pixel. Uh, you can see, wait, wait, you can see pixels, boxes, but they are not, they are not, these are grid and lines, but they are not pixelated. How do I mean? They are not blurry. blurry. They still remain, they still retain their sharpness and their grid. Okay. Does it make any sense? Yes. Does it look like yes. something you understand? Yes, yes. I understand now. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone with any other question? Doratin, you are saying something. Zain of Ampomi, please. Doratin, can you unmute your mic? Doratin. Can you say something? Oh, you answered the I've answered it already. Thank you. Sign up. Francis. Ma? Sorry. I don't know if this is out of the. Why are you laughing? I don't know if it's out of uh, context. I just want to know the reason why you're using Figma. What's up, for? <laughs> this is a busy Figma. How? No, I mean, so I just want to know the reason why you're using Figma for your design. Oh, I'm a product designer. Okay, so as a product designer for designs, it's going to the Figma, not the other Adobe yes, no. softwares. No, no, no. So, I mean, there's Adobe SD. These are the stuff you create in Figma. Let me show you what I've worked on. I'm not literally showing what I've worked on. I'm just showing you. And also, I, I think I find Figma more. It's just my preference, Sha. Uh, yeah, I because I've, I've worked on Figma like one or two times, and the only thing I did there was like prototype a, a low fi Are you a boss now? <laughs> you know, so I'm still learning. Yeah, a hey, boss. Let me show you um, what I use Figma for. So, I mean, I don't want to start explaining to us that Figma is for this, is for that. I believe that. We all can go Can I see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so this is what I use Figma for. Figma is used for screen designs. It's not for graphic design. It's used for okay. UI designs and all these oh. things. Yeah, so I create those ones in Figma. Also, Figma can be used for a lot of stuff more than that, sure you get. So I had to, and I made my presentation. The presentation of this class, I made it in Figma. So I'm using it to present. I can make it, I can try to design it in any other software. But I just decided to use this. So I just decided to use Figma for it. So I think, None. Okay. I feel like we bandy you guys with assignments. Okay. Is there any book bag? Another assignment. Um three she she are you listening? Three differences between a fig a what's it called? A vector file and a rasterized file. Differences between vector file and rasterized file. All these things are simple. Just go on Google and search it out and write it. The major thing is, is in you understanding what is being taught. It's not in 
just googling and come show you guys. So yeah. Um, Need a question? Uh, do you understand? You don't understand. What does you understand? No one is saying anything. No? Okay. Um, Anita, Anita, can you unmute me? Okay. So. What do you understand by what I've been saying so far? What do you understand by vector files and raster files? Hello? Hello, I can hear you now. I'm asking a question. Yes, I think I have a question. So what do you understand by what I've been explaining so far? What do you understand by vector file and raster file? Okay, I, I know that for, well, I think the basic things I took out from it is that with with um, a vector file and a raster file, with vector files you get, um, like vector files give you better quality with regards to when you're using it as an element in your design because of itself and how it Easy, easy. Are you cramming or you are leaving me out from somewhere? I don't understand. No, I'm not. I'm actually not feeling fine. You are not feeling fine. Yes. You are not feeling fine. But yes, that was the major thing I took out from what you said at the moment about vector files and raster files. Great. Sorry about that. Great. Um, somebody is trying to ask a question. And um, do you have any question on the color, like the color thing we're talking about? Um, no, no, I think I understood the concept of having to use your color to align with the ultimate things that you're trying to control, as well as for you know, your organization and things like that. I got the idea. Thank you so much. Um, there's a person called Afolayo Mama. Afolayo, can you meet somebody else? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm here. My question is, can uh, a vector file be converted to a raster file? And vice versa? Yes, it can. Okay, sir. So. Especially when you are using, use our own. Is it a background? Nope. This background is that one. Is your background? So, a vector file can be converted to a raster file. If you are working, so you want to work on a vector file on a non editable. Let me give you an example. You want to work on a vector file in Illustrator, in Photoshop. That's to convert to a raster file because Photoshop does not support Photoshop does not support um, what's it called? Photoshop does not support um, vector files. So it supports it in the form of is it that you convert it to pixel or you convert it to smart objects? When you convert it to smart objects, you can easily check, you can easily edit it in the original software. Or not in Photoshop. Does that answer your question? Or does that make any sense to you? Yes, sir. Thanks. Thank you so much. Don't ask me asking something. You are trying to say something. I'm not scared if they can be used in the Can you speak up? Hello? Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you there, I think. Yes, I'm asking if they can be used concurrently. How do you mean? As in, can they be used together at once or? What can be used together? As in the vector file and the raster file? No, there are different type of files. Though. 
can be used to get out. Don't worry, once you do your assignment, you will not have that one. Sure you get Thank you. Any other question? Any other question? Okay. Since there's no other question. Um, can we proceed to um so far also hacks do we no once we get to that session i will have to start yeah okay so the company is gone correctly um so let's talk about branding talk about branding talk about what branding means and all before we start to talk about branding and all i want to ask um what do you understand by the word brand or by the name brand i mean and most of us have used the word over and over over and over over <laughs> over what do you understand by the word brand? What do you understand by the name brand? So I'm opening the floor to uh, Precious. Can you hear me, So this brand, this brand branding thing, this is the topic. We are going to treat it from now. It's like Friday. So there was a lot of things to say under it. Yeah. So what do you understand by the word brand or by the name brand? Yeah. Hi, Francis. Hi, Precious. Okay. So for me, I think branding has to do with the perception that someone has about maybe an individual or an organization. Hmm. Precious, where are you from? I'm from Lagos. Hey, Lagos. Okota. Okay, okay. I like the response. I mean, I like how you describe it. I like that script thing. Yeah, me too. Okay. Um, so it will also involve um, the things that you can see and the things that you can't see. So like the colors, your logo, so that are part of the brand thing. The intangible ones, the ones you can't see. So maybe it's the perception, like the feelings that people have about your brand. So let's say like Coca-Cola. When uh, most people, when Coca-Cola is about happiness. So actually it's a drink, just a drink full of sugar, but they always try to push that, oh, they brand that it's for happiness, sharing. And so they try to push that too. So just the general perception so beyond the logos, things you can see and the things you can see. So that is what I understand by branding. Hmm. You have let us now. She just go. Hmm. That sound. That sound interesting. 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 Um. Um. Don't. So look at your mission, my kids. What do you say by the word brand? What do you say by the word brand? Or what does the word brand mean to you? So look at your mission, my kids. Okay, Tolu said you cannot miss your mind. Um, there are pieces, if I'm right. Dara, peace. I am Mr. Frank. Hi, good afternoon, Francis. Hi, good afternoon, Dara. Am I right? Is it Dara, peace? My name is actually Kislosu. 
<laughs> it is the shiny one. My name is Peace Lawson. Peace Lawson. Yeah. Why, did, why are you not using that app, please? <laughs> I was actually my email for when I was trying to register into Zoom. I think I was having an issue with the name. So, no, I already had one. I couldn't remember my password. So I just had to use this one as their app, please. And I've been using it for over two years now, like that. What are you laughing like? Like, if go, I was quite on Zoom. Thank you. I'll be feeling like that. So, um, what do you understand by the word? What do you understand by the word brand? And what do you understand by the word branding? Can you give me less than a minute, please? Okay. Yeah, so therapy is a meeting. <laughs> well, as they are calling you now. Well, um, a brand to me actually um, tells more about you, what people can identify you with. Even as the person, you like that now, we can identify you with something. Maybe some persons that are very close to you have what they can identify you with. And say, so, okay, this is him. Like something that nearly when they see, it, they know, oh, this is this thing, this person. So or this when you see me, what can you identify thing. me with? <laughs> maybe for now, maybe we'll just say he loves to wear black. Maybe because two times yesterday, today, you know. And he, he, he has a very, he, he has one particular funny laughter, you know. You know, even when without being connected to it, if he hear that, oh, it should be Francis laughing like that way, you know. So what you're known with, what identify, what people can identify with. Okay, 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 okay. So I think not to like say too much and um, I mean, everybody that has spoken, they are really right, right? So if a brand is a name, a term, a design, uh, a feature that you can identify someone with or organization with, and um, brands are used in businesses, marketing, is made or for innovation, but actually they create values and all these things, right? So brand is very essential in in anything you are doing. And also as a designer, you being a brand designer is one thing from being a graphic designer, right? So there's something called brand identity design. And what most of us know, or what some of you know as brand identity design, Design is logo design up and down, and um, it's more than that, right? It's more than that. A brand is now we have personal branding. Branding a brand is um, what you could say about you as an individual. What as um, what's her name? Precious. You know, as peace. There are peace, as she said. What people can identify with you as an individual? It, what is your what is people's UX user experience with you? How do they experience you? What do they are you the one that have shoko in your head? Are you the one that are meek? Are you the one that are calm in talking and all? So all these features, they are the things that actually goes to your brand as an individual. So how do you and brand can be for good and for bad when they hear your name what can people remember you for <laughs> what can people remember about you when they mention your name what can people remember about you when your name is being mentioned what are your physical characteristics what are your spiritual characteristics oh that's just a spiritual sorry <laughs> What are your physical characteristics? What are 
um, things people say about you. So let me give an example. I can say that peace is a bit fair. Um, she has a very not big, not small high ball, and um, she looks quiet, but nah, she's not quiet at all. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm right, but I think I have. So, your experiences with people is your brand, is your brand with them, is what they remember about you. So now, carry the, that and put it into companies. For instance, now, which which bank service is the most terrible? Uh, Joy Shinaza. Can you meet away? Which bank have you had the most unpleasant experience with? Joy. Joy. Can you miss your mic? Joy, can you miss your mic? Joy, Joy. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. I said, which, which bank have you had the most unpleasant experience with? Okay, we have the. I'm sorry, your network. I have to meet you. Yes. Deborah iPhone. Can you miss your mic, please? Deborah iPhone. Can you miss your mic, please? Deborah. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, it's yeah. I'm great, also. So I said, which bank have you? Which bank have you had the most unpleasant experience with? Bank? Yes. I don't like their service at all. Or this do like they have to shop in their head. GT. Ha. Why? This used to be a very good bank. It used to, not anymore. What happened? I have to choose my account last year. It took them six months to resolve it. I had to close down the account eventually. And how, how do you feel about them? I don't like, like them. Like they're not serious. Yes. Of I feel blah, blah, blah. like they need to work. They need to work more on their customer service. service. Yes. Yeah. But that is that is um. That is your what's it called about them, your user experience about them. But yeah. your your UI about them, like the way they position themselves, they look like they are the good band brand, they have good communication tools, like I mean they have good designs, good adverts, good blah 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 blah. Do you get? Yeah. And that is what attracts you to them, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's like Guys that are here, I know guys are few here. But it's like when a guy wants to um, ask a lady house, right? The first thing that attracts you to a lady is her beauty, when she's smiling like um, fresh yogurt, or when she's smiling like fresh corn, the way she looks. I mean, her user interface, the way she looks, the size of her eyes, the size of her head. <laughs> He said over, uh, I mean, physical features attract you to, to people, both male and female. But what keeps you with them is your experience with them. Is your... <laughs> <laughs> what keeps you with them is your, is the experience you have with them. Their user experience, like how do they talk? Does their mouth smell? Um, does their body, do they have body odor? Um, <laughs> do they have sense? Um, do they have anger issue? Um, 
So, yeah, your brand is very essential and how people relate and interact with you also. How, how people interact with your brand and the experience they have with your brand also matters. So try as much as possible to be a good person because that is what <laughs> people will always remember about you. Right. So um, we have five minutes on break time. When we come back from break, I'll emphasize more on branding, um, how to select brand names, um, what are brand touch points, and um, how how to create brand names and how. And I also introduce us to um, what's the called? I introduce us to. If time permits, I will introduce us to um, color. No, I think once we come back from break, we have to do assignment review and all. So by tomorrow, we'll proceed with branding, um, how to choose your brand color, how to choose your brand name, and all these things. By tomorrow, we'll proceed with that. Uh, you cannot cancel break home because you get tired. Hmm. Um, I follow you. I know what I'm saying. This is all, I know the first set of students I'm taking for this. Um, I took some persons last year, right? It's good to have break, even if it looks like, oh, um, they're enough of break. I know the energy you are eager, but it's good to have break. Because there are days that you'll be rushed. <laughs> That you don't have a break you hope to have. Yeah. So um when we come back from break, I'll review our assignments and I will ask for some feedback on how the class experience can be better and how we can actually um be um how can actually like learn better. I think I'm just trying to learn you guys. I guess I'm trying to learn me. One of the things I don't like, everybody, everybody is just silent, like everybody is just quiet. I don't know if you're hearing me, if there's feedback, or if there's no feedback, or if there's no feedback, well, which is fine, but at the same time, I think um, the feedback is very key for me. So, you guys are going on break now, and we're coming back by one, right? So, regardless of how many people will meet at say, one o'clock? I'm going to continue. And um, Shay, you please make sure that, because I'm going to give people's calls with the assignment and all. So make sure that you are recording those things. And the assignments, the assignments, um, what was it called? The assignments call is part of your general assessment. So, also, your portfolio, you create a portfolio and all these things. But assignment is very key. Yeah. So, thank you guys. Um, before we go on break, does anybody have anything to say? Any question? Anything? Any question? Okay, it's break time. Um, I'll see you guys by one o'clock. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys by one o'clock. All right, guys. Mm -hmm.